Hey YouTube, I'm here today back with my twist, my jumbo twist. Um, I did a mini tutorial before on it. <clears throat> I've had my twist in now for about a week. Yeah, actually today makes a week. Um, I just posted my other video on how to do these. It's a mini tutorial, it's not a full tutorial. But today I'm coming to you to show you how to maintain your crochet twist what I usually do is I keep my scalp moisturized and conditioned and I make sure I keep a silk scarf on at night and I usually put uh, um, put it up in a ponytail to kind of keep it up and you know so I can sleep but I'm gonna show you exactly what it is that I use first of all I use this just like any crochets I ever use any other videos you see me I love this stuff this stuff is so good I use this kinky wavy natural easy herbal comb I use this on my son's hair my kids hair I take some of this I use a few squirts and I put it in my bottle I put water in here it's mostly water I mix it with water and I put it in here but I take a few drops of this I also use this, which is high gloss braid and weave spray. I like this and it has a great smell. So I put a few drops of this also in the bottle. Also, I use extra virgin olive oil. I love to use that. Makes your hair so soft. So I mix all of these together in my bottle, but I've been using this so it's a little bit in there now. So I mix it around and I take and I, you know, separate my hair. I take it and I put it down in the middle of my parts. And that's the thing I love about crochets, any kind of braids, any kind of twist, anything like that, because you still can get to your hair. You know, you really want to like turn the bottle to the side to get up under there, make sure it's good and moisturized. I do this all through my hair, all through, all the way through. And this, you know, helps it stay moisturized and makes it last longer. It's not as itchy and, you know, because if you have something in your hair for a certain amount of time, your hair is going to start itching anyway, no matter what. But this helps it stay moisturized. And this stuff right here, I'm telling you, it's so good. And when you take your kinky twist out, or you take any crochets or any style that you have out after using this, I'm telling you, your hair is so soft, so curly, and you know, it's moisturized real good. And I try to do this every night to make sure my hair is moisturized. But this right here is a good way to do it, you know. And me, I, I went on my big chop about, let's see, what was it? Um, The end of July of 2014, and it's 2015 right now. Yes, what is it? March 2015 right now. So I'll be coming up on a year soon for my big top. So like this is very important to try to get my hair to grow back. And I had a lot of problems with my edges. You see my edges are still kind of thin, but they are slowly starting to come back in. Like I was completely with no edges from allowing, you know, these other people to braid my hair and do things to my hair when I knew I knew how to do my own hair. So I started doing all this stuff to my own hair to try to get it back how it was. And I've made, you know, other people's hair grow and things like that. So I was like, well, you know, I'm doing all this stuff for all these other people and things like that. I need to start doing it for myself. So I started taking care of my hair and I said, well, I'm going to just do the big chop and cut it all off. Because me, if you look at some of my other videos, you'll see where I had my short haircuts and stuff like that. My hair be short on this side, long on that side, or short on this side, long on the other side. So to cut my hair was not really a big, a big deal. It's just waiting for it to grow back, you know. Because me, I like to keep cutting my hair and keep cutting my hair, and that's my problem. <clears throat> I never get it, give it a chance to grow back. But anyway, this is what I do to it, and sometimes I even do this. Spray it on the hair itself. I'm telling you, if you buy the products that I told you about, especially this and this, this stuff and this stuff, 
I'm telling you, they smell good. They smell very good. They condition your hair. Like, sometimes my hair be itching because I hadn't done it in a while. I've done nothing to it. And I will put that on it. I'm telling you, I kid you not, that is some good stuff. I'm going to show it to you one more time. This, and it does not cost a whole lot of money either. I can't remember exactly how much this costs. But you can get it from, like, um, the hair stores and stuff like that. Beauty supply stores and stuff like that. And this right here, you mostly get it from, like, braiding places where people braid your hair and stuff like that i think that's where i get this from i don't know where else you can buy this from but this is some good stuff so i might have to go visit one of their little braiding shops to get me some more of that but i love it okay so that's what i do i go through and i do all of that and sometimes i like i said i put some on top of my actual kinky twist then like i said i pull it up for bed time because i'm about to go to bed I take the thing and I pull it up like this for bed. I put it all in a ponytail like this. I just pull it like this. And sometimes when I wear it, I pull some of these down and let them hang. But because, you know, this is for bed do it like this and um i use this bonnet it's a long bonnet and a lot of like these especially when i'm wearing like braids kinky twists and stuff like that because it holds your hair very good and you know you can put a lot of hair in here so you see it has a little ties which goes in the back you can buy these at any beauty supply stores as well so i take it and i put it on top of my twist as such and I pull this down some because I don't want this little ridge to be rubbing on my edges. So I put it like that so that way the edges will be free. And I do like this. You can see a little tie in the back. And there you go. You see it's still some rough. So you can like have real long braids and stuff like that. And see, now I'm ready to go to bed. But um, that's what I use. That's all I do to mine. And like me, as far as braids and kinky twists and stuff. Like that, I wear it a month, two months sometimes. I like freshen them up. And the way you can freshen them up is like, sometimes you can take some of the cornrows out and redo them. And you can keep the same twist because the twist, it lasts a long time. You just take the crochets out. You don't cut them out. You just take them out. And I can show you how to do that right quick. I'll show you one of them. See, like this is the one in the front. Right here. See the little knot that's on it? Feel the little knot that's on it. You pull it straight out like that. And see. You take it out and see. And it's still going to be good. And you just save these. And then you re roll your hair. And then you put these same ones back in. Because I, I do that. I use the same ones. And sometimes you can soak them in water. Don't soak them in hot water though. Soak them in cold water so that way you can keep your curl. Because you don't want to soak them in hot water. Soak them in cold water. Leave them out to dry. Then when you finish doing your cornrows, you crochet it right back in there. And it's not that hard. See, look, I'm going to put it right back in there. Oops. Cut my hair. Okay, do like that. And you find a little hole. See the little hole? Stick your fingers in there. Open up the latch. Put it right back on the hook. Pull it right back through. See? Once again, you have your twist right back in there. So, you know, it's not a big deal. You go, you wash your hair, or you want to take your braids all the way out, and you want to redo it, but you want to use the same hair, you can. Because all you got to do is take that and soak it in some cold water. And it can keep the same curl in it. If you want to re-roll it, you can roll it over. And you still got the same kinky twist. Because the kinky twist really don't get messed up. It's like your hair growing out and all of that stuff. You know, you keep it in the bonnet and things like that. I probably end up making a video of me taking them out and showing you how they look when I take them out. And how good they still are and you can use them once again. Because I've used mine twice or three times sometimes when I do mine. But these right here are new ones. But I usually keep mine in about a month at the least um sometimes i keep it in as long as three months because i wash my hair and i do all kinds of things to it like i part it and i wash it 
inside the barks and stuff like that. Sometimes I take the corn rolls all the way out after like two months, re corn roll and use the same hair again. I go for another month, two months. But anyway, I hope you like my tutorial on how to keep your hair good and how to, you know, clean it and things of that sort. Um, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Please subscribe. Thank you, and you have a blessed and wonderful day. Good night.